सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन एज अ गार्डनर हु कलेक्टेड डेटा ऑन द रेट्स पर के जी ऑफ टोमेटो सोल इन डिफरेंट सीजन सो दीज आर द डेटा पॉइंट विच आर ट्वेल्व सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी टू एट थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी फोर फोर्टी एंड ट्वेंटी एट द क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ दीज थ्री बॉक्स प्लॉट्स करेक्टली the gardener's data. So for this we need to first understand what a box plot is. So the box plot is called a number of things. So it's called a box plot or a box and whiskers plot or also a candlestick chart. These are the various names given to the plot and it is essentially a chart a plot to represent the five number summary. So in the five number summary what do we do we have something which is the minimum of the data then we have the first quartile then we have the second quartile and then we have the third quartile and finally we have the maximum of that data let us imagine some data where the minimum is let us say 3 and the maximum is let us say 42 and uh, the q1 is occurring at suppose 10 q2 is occurring at suppose 19 q3 is occurring at suppose 27 so this is how the data is we have found the five number summary of this data suppose now for the box plot we first establish these markings vertically like this let us in this ruler let us consider this is 0 this is 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 and 45 so this is how the ruler is so 0 is here and 45 is here so what we do in a box plot is we draw a box a rectangular box from the q3 to q1 so q1 to q3 we draw a rectangular box which looks like this so here we can see that the upper part of the box is q3 and the lower part of the box is q1 10 to 27 so this is basically nothing but the interquartile range q1 to q3 is the interquartile range and we are basically showing a box to represent the interquartile range so this is why we call it the box plot and the whiskers part is that along with this box we also draw a vertical line from the q3 to the max here which is 42 and here we mark it off like this and we do the same thing on the other end from q1 to to the minimum which is 3 so here this is to 3 so this is our minimum and this is 42 which is our maximum so in this way the min is shown the max is shown the q1 and q3 are shown and what is left is the q2 which is also incidentally the median so to indicate the median what we do is we draw this little line that is going through the box so this is our 19 which is q2 which is also the median because q2 is exactly 50 percentile which is the median of the data and this plot is what is called your box plot or box and whiskers plot or sometimes even the candlestick plot because it looks like a candlestick now given this introduction let's go to the question and see how to solve it so since it's a box plot we need to first rearrange our data as in in ascending order we need to arrange the data so we'll have 8 first 8 goes first 12 appears to be next 
16 is after that, 22 comes after that, 28 is here, and we have 32, 34, 36, and 40. So overall there are 9 observations. So first of all, which box plot has the range of 8 to 40? So this box plot doesn't seem to be starting from 0 because this appears to be 5 units, this length. And this is even lesser than 5 units. So maybe this value is probably 7 and then 8 is likely to come about here. So yeah, all of these box plots seem to match that. The upper limit, the other side of the range is 40 for these two. So either of these two could be our box plot. And this one is definitely wrong. Now let's look at the interquartile range. So we have nine points we have seen. So the interquartile range will come from, if we did it exactly, as 25% we would get from 2.25 to 6.75 and that means from the third value to the seventh value which is this so 16 to 34 should be shown in our interquartile range and that is happening for this box plot. So this is about at 16 and this is at 34. So this is wrong and this is our correct box plot.